morning guys, welcome back to Vlogmas and welcome back to another day in Vienna. I'm here with Andy, we've come for a lovely breakfast. Today the temperature has dropped hasn't it's it? Cold, yeah. It feels cold, we had a little bit of snow overnight, unfortunately it didn't take. I was really hoping to wake up to like a winter wonderland this morning but it's fine. So I have wrapped it warm, I've gone for full neutral vibes today. But anyway we've arrived at Clementine in Glass House for breakfast. So many people recommended this place to me so yeah we're gonna see if it's good and then we're just gonna have a little wander around aren't we? Yeah. Yeah just fine. go and see a few, a few of the sites. The weather's actually really lovely, it's cold but the sun's out so yeah it's gonna be a lovely day. So Andy has gone for the August Victor. This is like the big boy continental I breakfast, this is like isn't it? Four breakfasts in one. I didn't realise it was like this. I've gone for the eggs that clementine. Oh, it's basically like eggs Benedict, but in a croissant rather than a muffin. Look at that ham. I know. It looks absolutely delicious. And then we've got this lovely view outside. Guys, we have finished breakfast and we've come to explore Vienna, and it's just started snowing. You literally couldn't write this, could you? It's literally started snowing. Can you see? I really hope you can see it on the camera. Oh, I got stuck to my lip. So yeah, we're gonna have a lovely little explore. But look how gorgeous it is. Just look, every direction you look, it's just so, so stunning. So we're gonna have a look around here. There's the gardens over there. Town hall over in that direction. Lovely. <laughs> just arrived at Belvedere Palace. This has its own little Christmas market that we're going to have a look at and then after this we are going to head over to the riding school because we've got a little tour around there as well. Oh my god look! Oh my gosh! Look at these gardens! Oh my gosh! Stole my idea. Guys, it's still snowing. Can you see the snow? It's so gorgeous. <laughs> Look at these good boys and girls having a little rest. Hello, darlings. Hello, darlings. <laughs> Got the rugs on, keep it nice and warm. So we have just arrived at the Spanish Riding School. Just popping in to pick up our tickets. And I'm so excited to see this. We've just got a sneak preview of the stables on the way. Here we are. Oh, look at all these little gifts. Maybe we'll get um, a little souvenir from here. Oh, a little bauble. Spanish Riding School. Just pop to the gift shop. These are like the um, have you seen Hermes do yeah. these that you can pop on your bags? They're kind of like that. That is so sweet. They've got a little horse it's cookie cutters. Maybe I'll make some Christmas horse themed cookies. These are so sweet. I've got a horseshoe. I might actually grab some of these for some Christmas baking. That'd be really nice. You can get some little riding socks. Fluffy pony pens. <laughs> I'm a sucker for a pen. It's Spanish. Oh, these are nice. Oh, look at that. Oh, I saw that on the way in. That's really nice, isn't it? I'd actually go with your trees. And trees red. My yeah. trees red and gold now. Even that would go with it. <gasps> oh my god, I might have to get that one. That's my Vienna souvenir. Yeah, I think that one. That horse one's yeah. cute, and the horseshoe. Oh wow, look at it inside here. <gasps> oh my god. This is a little bit different to the indoor school that I ride Flickr in. Every Saturday, every Sunday we have performances in this very hall. He, or rather his painting, is hanging up there. Yeah, uh, Emperor Charles VI. And he had this hall built 1729 
to 1735. The architect was called Josef Emanuel Fischer von Erlach. After approximately five or six years, you will be able to show one of the stallions you've trained on in a performance. Yeah? When you can do that, you will advance to become an assistant rider. You have to train and educate the stallion until again you can show him in a performance. Yeah? When that has happened a few times successfully, you get to call yourself a rider, fully qualified rider of the Spanish Riding School, and from that day on, you train up to 10 stallions a day. They are all stallions. They're all stallions, and I'm gonna. When we look at the videos, I'm gonna explain to you why. Yeah, uh, it's after the stunning modern building that we have here. Like a so, in I think I mentioned we have 70 stallions here in Vienna. So I think at the moment, 118 horses in total. And what we do is we rotate them around every eight to ten weeks. Yeah, so what you can see here are excerpts of the performance. It starts here with the more, yeah, more exciting things, really. Those are our school jumps. Uh, but what we have been doing here for the last 458 years, we've trained riders and horses in the classic, a high school of classical horsemanship. And the exercises of the classical horsemanship are divided into two groups, starting here with the schools above the ground. Now you will see the schools on the ground. So the schools on the ground are the dressage exercises that you know, for example, from Dressage Olympia. So dressage at its highest level. Um, you can see here now the passage ridden by every horse. This is the capriole where the stallion jumps up and then kicks out with his hind legs at the highest point. And this is a very, very difficult jump, the so-called corbet, where the horse stands almost upright and then makes a series of jumps uh, forward. Very, very difficult. So we could, of course, train mares here. Yeah, we could. But if we had mares here, we would have to convince them very hard to behave like that and do jumps. <laughs> so basically, we would have to force them. Yeah. And the high school of classical horsemanship, or the philosophy of that, is, is about working in harmony with a horse and not to use force, ever, yeah? So we just walk into the outdoor part so we can see the stables from the outside. Even the muck looks quite nice. <laughs> oh, the tack room there, all the saddles. Oh, look. Gorgeous. <laughs> look how stunning they are. Look at that gorgeous grey face. The favourite go all the way through. It's made from buckskin leather, so very different leather, very soft leather. These saddles are handmade and customised by a Swiss company, and because they fit perfectly onto the stallion's back, they don't need a saddlecloth. Yeah, they go straight onto the back. <laughs> Grumpy face. Face. We've stumbled on this gorgeous shop that sells, what do they sell? It's all Christmas candles, like Christmas foliage, isn't it? Mm. It's a florist. Yeah, it is a florist. Oh, yeah, it is a florist. Look how Christmassy this looks. So we just finished up at the Spanish Riding School. That was actually really nice, wasn't it, it was walking around? Good. So interesting hearing about them and like how they kind of look after them and their training schedule and yeah it was um and it wasn't like a long tour was it yeah it was nice it was literally like what, a half an hour 45 minutes yeah yeah it wasn't long oh speaking of ponies <laughs> i'm loving all the horses here guys although it's kind of making me miss flicker a little bit but anyway we've just finished up there me and andy are now walking through the center and we're heading to, can you remember what the place is called that we're going to? No, um, Amica. Yeah. It's kind of like a design and like department store, isn't it? We yeah. think. Um, but yeah, we're going to have a little mooch there, try and find a little bit of something to eat. And then we're going to head back to the apartment, freshen up, and then we're out. Warm up. <laughs> Warm up. And then we're going to out for the evening. But yeah, it's been so lovely so far. I've been really enjoying Vienna, actually. And even though it's cold, Obviously, we're expecting it to be cold. It's not like so cold that it's unenjoyable. Like, I've really enjoyed a holiday wrapping up warm. Yeah. As weird as that sounds. It's very clean. Yeah. 
yeah, I said that the other day, it's so clean here and lovely. What did you think of the Spanish riding school bike as someone that's not into horses? No, I liked it, it was interesting. Yeah? It's very good, yeah. Enjoyed it? Yeah. Yeah. Let's head to, it's not called Amica, it's called Ami... Am Am Amicus. Amicus? Amicus. I'm sure someone will correct me on here. Uh, here we are, let's see what they've got. Oh god, I already love those riding boots and that coat in the window. Oh dear. Oh, they've got loads of saloon in here. Oh my gosh, why is that? It's so cute, it's like so impractical but so cute. Oh my god, that is so gorgeous. Remember I said I wanted a travel tote? That's nice, isn't it? Mm. That's so cute for the winter. <laughs> I really do want a nice like winter bag, like a shearling style one like that. That's yeah. nice. Love this dark chocolate Celine bag. Absolutely gorgeous. So Jake's ordered the Manly's cocktail in the bar, the Moulin Rouge. That is actually real makeup. It's a beauty blender in the front. Yeah. Turn it round. Let's have a little look. It's actually real. Like That's it's a real smudgy. beauty blender. Yes. You've got a little bit of foundation. Yes, it is. Oh my god, it's real. It's my favourite colour. <laughs> That is so funny. <laughs> I feel like my cocktail looks a bit boring in comparison to this. doesn't it? What, you, what have you had the Medusa? Yeah, look at this. And then look when you open this. Oh. There she is. Oh, wow. Have you got like an ice cream cone? Mine's in here, man. You've got to drink it in one, you can't put it back down. Yeah. <laughs> I think Jake's won this round. Yeah. I, Jake, I don't know, when I've rubbed that in, that's a lovely shake. It is. <laughs> that is, isn't it? Is there anything in that lipstick? Yeah, there was that's alcohol my drink. in it. Oh, the that was your yeah, drink, that was drink in there. Drink, it, Are you going to do a little get ready with me? A little tutorial <laughs> over there. You've got to hold it up to the camera. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Cheers. It's a model. It says launch the range. You can see the concept, basically. Oh it's a really nice so what is this? hibiscus instead of pineapple, so it's like, it gives it a little bit of a difference. This is right up my street. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Wow. Can we all see like? It does look a little bit like a bush sticker trial on the top. Careful, but, oh, wait, wait, stop. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh. oh. That's the thing. I want this engraved in my wedding ring. You want that engraved in your wedding ring? What's it even mean? Isn't it like toxic? No, it's like something about power. Because he's got none. <laughs> <laughs> then I lost all mine when I, when I started wearing this. <laughs> Thick. <laughs> it's actually really nice. Is it? The first bit's nice. Yeah. Perfect. It's not bad, but not real. Yeah. It's weird. It's not offensive. It's okay to drink. What would you order? It? I don't know. I think I could. day in Vienna. Um, we are about to go for breakfast. The room has nearly been packed up. I've just got a few last minute bits to pop away. I thought I would add this like this morning onto um, yesterday's vlog because as I said we are going home it's not really a full day and I didn't want to leave any of like Vienna stuff out. So we're going to a restaurant called Palm House for breakfast. I'm just going to grab my coat and finish getting ready. So I decided in the end with those Zara coats, I did actually keep this one. This fluffy cream coat because it's actually so thick, it's so warm. So I thought it would be quite good for Vienna. I have got two layers on underneath this as well. But yeah, I think it's um, quite a good coat. I've got my leg warmers on and I'm just going to pop my boots on. 
There we go. And I like to wear these so that they're just, just poking out the top like that, just to add a little bit of something onto the bottom of them. So last night we went to a cocktail bar called Toga, where they do the most amazing cocktails. Actually, hold that thought, let me tell you about it in a minute. But yeah, last night we went to a um, like cocktail bar called Toga. Really recommend, if you're looking for a nice place in Vienna to go to, not for food, but maybe like a pre-food place, or after food place, um, really, really great cocktails. They were real, like, novelty cocktails. So Andy had one, I think it's called Narcos. I can't remember what was in it, but it came with a real dollar bill and a little bag of icing sugar, which obviously, we know what that was supposed to look like. And it was icing sugar, obviously. But it was just so cool. There were so many individual cocktails like that. Like, Jake ordered one and it came with all makeup inside, like a little makeup organiser thing. and. The drink itself was inside the lipstick and you had to tip it out. The makeup was real as well. It was just a really cool place. Um, yeah, really great place to like kill a couple of hours. Um, and then we went to an Italian restaurant, um, which was kind of like a bit last minute. I can't remember the name of it. I will have put it on screen, but that was really nice. I ended up having the truffle, what did I have? The truffle ravioli, like pasta, amazing. To start, we had like a big sharing platter of like prosciutto ham. Um, we had a burrata. The boys had pizzas. Yeah, it was really, really nice. So anyway, as I said, today is unfortunately our last day. We've got to leave for the airport around, I think around two o'clock. So we're gonna head for breakfast now. Do a last, last little bit of seeing the sights, having a mooch around, and then we will be leaving for the airport, but yeah. I hope you've enjoyed Vienna so far. Hope you enjoy the rest of Vienna with me. Well, this is a pretty nice spot for breakfast. Is it in there, the restaurant? In here, It yeah. is, isn't it? In that so this is called Palm House, I think. But we've had a lovely walk through the center to get here. Look how gorgeous it is there. You've got the park. And then a pop in here. There's some lovely breakfast. We've just popped into the church to have have a look around. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my god, look at that. Wow. Gonna light a candle while we're here. Look how gorgeous this is. So we've just ordered our first Wiener Schnitzel, obviously, when in Vienna. So, <laughs> are you excited to try it, Shall Andy? I try it? Yeah, Andy, you be the first one. You give your verdict. Let's put a little bit of lemon, I think. Yeah. But that's one portion. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, that's one portion. Oh, wow. So what meat is it? Is this veal? Veal. Veal. What are we thinking? Do you like it? Mm. No, what's it remind, what's it taste like? It tastes like a tastes like turkey dinosaur. Yeah. Turkey yeah, dinosaur. Yeah, yeah, I'm so sorry to anyone from Austria watching my vlog. Jake comparing your Wiener Schnitzel to a turkey dinosaur. I'm gonna try a little bit now. A little try. I see what you mean by the reference, Jake. No, that's really nice. Yeah. Do you want some more? I'll have one more bit. It's lovely. That's a wrap guys. We're in the taxi. On our way back to the airport, Vienna, done. And we're all very, very tired. It's only about half two, three o'clock in the afternoon, but it's nearly dark. But anyway, on our way to the airport, I'm gonna end this vlog here. So I really hope you've enjoyed coming to Vienna with me. I'll be picking you up again tomorrow. I'm so excited to get home and just see the puppy dogs. Are you excited to see the puppy dogs? Have you missed them? I've missed them. Do you think they've missed you? No. <laughs> Do you think they've missed me? Yes. Yes. <laughs> anyway, guys, as always, I will uh, leave you here and, oh God, can you tell I'm tired? I'll leave you here and I will see you in the next one.